everyone, welcome back to The Restaurant Show and we are going to be checking out some beautiful pastas from Chef Mike here from the Salty Dog Cafe both in Bluffton and on the island. That's correct. The world renowned Salty Dog. That's it. <laughs> you are yeah. going coast to coast here. So um, we're actually going to be talking about some great pastas that you have at the Bluffton exactly. store. Exactly. Okay, yes. wonderful. Yeah, we've got uh, quite a few dishes, um, some of the things that are available all day long. Which okay. is, uh, becoming a very popular part of our menu. So yeah. wanted to maybe kind of show some of the different pastas that we do. Also some wine pairings that go well with those. Wonderful. And they yeah. do have a full bar. So I think that's another thing that hasn't been out in the Tanker Outlet Mall, like a full service restaurant with a full bar matched up, um, you know, pairings of food and wine. So exactly. and beer, which we've touched on before. So, right. um, yeah, so you're going to actually bar. start out with one of the first dishes right yeah, here. Yeah, let me uh, kind of go over the first one. What we're going to be doing with this is uh, it's a special that we run quite a bit. Now, it has become a very popular special, and it's the thing that we have available all the time. Okay. Um, our chef, Daniel, at the restaurant is the one that came up with this, and it's just kind of taken over. Yeah, so, it, and all the ingredients, y'all, are beautiful looking. You'll see as he, and yeah. the colors are just great. So it's, that always means that's going to be very flavorful food. <laughs> uh, exactly. I mean, this is going to start off with some diced Roma tomatoes. Okay, this up real quick. Some red onion. We're going to put some roasted red peppers. Okay, great. Look at that, and so much And there's going to be a little uh, pesto here, which is actually going to give it the base, that and some Alfredo. Great. And, and now, some... pesto is something that, I mean, if, if you're a little more advanced, you can make your own pesto. Or yep. can, would you suggest you could even buy some of it at a store? There's yeah, I would suggest places. buying it. I mean, yeah. If you have a one of the bullets or something that's yeah. very easy to do, it's basil, pine nuts, and you can actually use any greens. Mint works in it. And um, walnuts, pecans, I've yeah, heard of a lot of yeah, different it's variations. it's very versatile. It's something that can be, it's got a lot of applications to yeah. it. But yes, you can make it a number of different ways. Um, I would probably suggest just buying it from the stores. Yeah, the way it, to do yeah it. So, absolutely. But yeah, or just go to the Salty Dog at Bluffton. Just make it really easy. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it for you. It's no problem. So, so easy. You just mixed all of those ingredients. Right. Um, so a little fresh spinach. Spinach, of course. Gorgeous. And this is something, I mean, if you were going to attempt it at home, um, it seems pretty easy right there. But again, yeah. there is a little preparation that has to go into getting right. all of your ingredients ready for sure. It's just a little bit, but you know, it's kind of what you would call a one pot dish. I mean, right. you can do this very quick. Um, you can feed a large family with it. Yeah. You can do your thumb for yourself. So. Now, and or, you know, ordering it from the restaurant too, though, everything is made fresh to order. Right. So can we get these items to go also? Oh, definitely. Oh, okay, definitely. great. Yes. Good, good, good. Hold up very well. Definitely good to go. Okay, so yeah. as that's cooking up, let's go on and check out some of these Yeah, other, we'll other talk about a dishes. couple of different ones that we do. Um, we'll do this one first, which okay. is actually a jerk chicken pasta. Oh. Um, we we have a jerk chicken breast, which is a marinated jerk that we put on there. Um, a little robust in the flavor, right. but it's actually cooled down by some of the Alfredo that's in the pasta. It balances it off. It does. And there's also roasted red peppers, there's uh, spinach, there's diced red onion, oh, gosh, looks um, Alfredo. So that's probably one of our more popular dishes currently. Right. Um, that's going to actually get finished off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Love it. And then we'll put a little bit of garlic toast on that. And again, this is not just a dinner item. I can get this all day. All day long, Wonderful. yes, definitely. I love it, I love yeah. it. We're gonna give, and what would you suggest to go with this pasta? Um, the, something with the jerk, and, and this is why, there's a Riesling of something that goes great with the jerk yeah. pasta. The jerk has a lot of uh, allspice or some coriander, mm -hmm. different spices that are in there, which really pulls out in the Riesling very well. Beautiful, So Beautiful. that's something that goes very well with great. that. Great, good, good, good. And now I see, the meat yes, pasta. The meat. You gotta have a, a meat dish on there. Um, that is what we're gonna call our meaty bruschetta pasta. Okay, great. So that um, basically is gonna have sausage, there's ground beef, diced tomato, there's a red sauce, Love uh, it. penne pasta, and then that's as well gonna get diced done with some uh, fresh parmesan. Love the fresh parmesan. I always am like, I'll take a little extra. A little extra. <laughs> Fresh basil. Beautiful. And then that actually is going to have, just to give it a little more element of flavor, it's going to have a balsamic reduction that we're going to put on here. And I love that too because it also brings a sweet acidity yes. to the pasta that right. isn't expected and it just gives that nice little different level of flavor to it. Love oh yeah. It. Awesome. Yeah, so definitely a little little element of flavor in that one. So love it. That's a very popular item. Uh, finish with the balsamic. There's Beautiful. the dish. And you're suggesting? Yep. And this is going to be basically a medium bodied red, which is going to be Pinot Noir. Right. Um, Murphy Good is a great brand. And that's heavy during this heat, this weather right, right now. Right. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's something that balances with the fattiness of the meat and the acidity of the uh, red sauce. I so love it. 
great wine for that. And remember, this is all at the Tanger Outlet, which is fantastic, especially yes. while you're doing your school shopping, um, that last minute shopping of getting everything together before school starts, or while you're on vacation and you want to get that, you know, get everything in your Salty Dog t-shirts, of course, which yeah, is you've got to get some corner. Salty Dog t-shirts, Yeah, you, you know? get that all in before the end of the summer. Right. And your last dish, what do we have going on here, Chef? All right, so this is what we're going to finish with, and this is, uh, like I said, it's Chef Daniel, who is our, our chef in our kitchen. Um, and it is a blackened salmon and pesto pasta. Beautiful. And so this is basically going to be something that is available all the time. Okay, um, great. You can get this at any time of the day, at any time of the week. Love this it. in here. And as you're plating that up, I, um, I just wanted to mention too, I know we can't forget about you know the mothership down at the marina. Right, right. <laughs> down at you know South Beach. You have a lot of events coming up and you guys got to mark your calendars because there's a lot of things going on in September. We're all busy, but these are ones you want to mark down your calendar because they really are special events. What do yeah, you have going it's, on? Uh, starting the second week in September, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be doing events outside on the deck. So yeah. there's going to be music, and the events weather going on. Is so great. <laughs> the, the whole month of September right. is going to bring a lot of people out. We have yeah. a crab boil, a craft beer, and, and uh, blues festival. Okay. Um, low country boil. So that all starts the second week in September and goes through the month. And I can check that out on your website. Definitely. Saltydog.com. Or call and I mean any questions you guys might have or if you want to find out what times to come there's always something going down there at that marina and always. And and again that weather is going to be perfect so you're definitely going to yeah. want to make it down there. Right. Thank you so much chef. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, check them out both at the Bluffton Tanger Outlets, Salt Dog Cafe or even at South Beach Marina. We'll be back in just a moment.